Oh boy. So if you want to talk about level five autonomy, you know, where you hop in the car and there's no steering wheel, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad it's not my job. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, if this guy, like right now, if he breaks, especially if he breaks hard, I'm just not gonna have the room to stop. We're coming up to it looks like our first vehicles in the ditch. I'm really surprised this morning. Oh yeah, there's a guy over there. Man, that sucks. Um, this morning I didn't see anybody go off the road. And all right, so here he goes. He's gonna fly, fly by in his little Toyota. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the, I'm a little nervous. Uh, we're going on the dirt roads now. So let's see if they were plowed. Oh, there's some deer here. I'm sliding as I slow down. And they're just gonna chill there. <laughs> they do not care at all. Oh no, don't stop. Oh my gosh, it's actually stopping. Oh crap. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be pretty wild. Um, it's been snowing all day since before I got to work. It's about 4.30 p.m. It's been snowing since, I don't know, maybe 7 a.m. or so. You can see my car's melted because I've been preheating it, but we're gonna drive home in this craziness. This is why you need big all-weather floor mats with uh, you know, a big lip on here. Okay, so here we go. All-wheel drive, no snow tires. You can see we're obviously sliding. We've made it one mile and it's been 10 minutes. So it's gonna be a really long time. The Tesla navigation's estimating I'll get home in an hour and five minutes. Uh, yeah, right, I wouldn't be surprised if it's double that. Um, it'll probably be around an hour and a half total drive or something, but you know, we'll see. So everybody's going really slow. You can see regen braking is temporarily reduced, but I have a good amount of regen, so no big deal. I'm not going all that fast. Uh, I am using the one pedal driving here. Uh, which is working fine if I step on it too hard or I try to decelerate too quickly then of course the car could slide um, I've already slid a bit. My biggest worry is other drivers. Um, I don't have snow tires right now uh, I have used them in the past and they are way better and amazing than anything else uh, Just we got them for the Equinox this year and so I just kind of didn't want to spend the money on them uh, I may still end up getting them I, <laughs> the more I talk about them the more I want them Oh, autopilot's available. Yes, what the heck? I thought my radar was covered. Oh my gosh, see, it's getting too close though. Oh yeah, and I'm sliding. So, uh, I don't know, I'm probably not gonna use autopilot very much. Um, I mean, the street looks like straight ice right here. Oh man, a lot of sliding. All right, so we're gonna take this opportunity. And I actually need the map here. It's taking me a special way to avoid some of the traffic. And I'm driving up on the curve right now, but whatever. Uh, okay, so this doesn't look as bad. So if I let off, there's nobody behind me. If I let off, yeah, see, I'm not sliding here like I was back there. So that had just a huge sheet of ice on it. Uh, so hopefully most of the roads aren't like that. So I was not prepared for this at all today. I don't have like my snow brush. I don't even have gloves with me. Um, so I was cleaning my car off. I mean, I preheated it, but I still had to clean off the headlights and stuff, and I was cleaning them off with uh, just my sleeves of my coat. It's coming up to a hill here, so I'm slowing down way super early just to be sure I can stop, because when you get to a hill like this, you just never know. Um, you know when you let off the accelerator or if you start to brake, you just don't know how much you're going to slide. seem to be taking a different way than everyone else. It's not that they know something that I don't know. <laughs> uh, there we go, we're clear. It's nice when you don't have to completely stop, you can use your momentum to keep going in the snow. Sometimes getting started again is hard. That That's where, you know, even without, again, snow tires are better, but even without snow tires, all-wheel drive gives you a big advantage in getting started to go again. The, the dangerous thing, and, and why people tell you all-wheel drive isn't gonna help you so much in the winter, is because all-wheel drive isn't gonna help you stop at all. Um, and those snow tires do exactly that. This is the key, just uh, stop really early. 
so no issue. So I just slid a tiny bit, but I'm so far from that, it doesn't matter. You can see we were just using a ton of energy, 490 watt hours per mile. At that rate, you're gonna barely make it half of what Tesla tells you you will. Um, but part of that is because we're going so slow and using a lot of energy from like the heater, uh, traction control, slipping, stuff like that is using a lot more energy. And then of course the cold from outside, Oh boy, uh, that means we got some, some snow on there, I assume is why it's doing that. Um, now the ultrasonic sensor, <laughs> the ultrasonic sensors aren't active above a certain speed, I'm not sure what it is, maybe 15 miles an hour, I'm just guessing. If you know, you know, say it in the comments. Um, so you won't see that while you're driving, but right now they're, you know, getting messed up from the snow. The one pedal driving is really amazing. I don't know if I could say it's helping me drive in the snow or whatever, um, but it is really nice. Okay, so we're stopping here. There's no cars coming, so I'm not really going to stop because I need to go and not get stuck and not have someone run into me. Just a big chunk of ice stuck at the end of that blade, which it wasn't there earlier. It just happened while we were driving, and so it's making this pattern. Luckily, like everything in front of me is clear, so it's not really affecting me too much. But you can see here, uh, no cars are displayed anywhere, uh, and I can't even use normal, well, adaptive cruise control. And you can see it says reduced front camera visibility. Um, so I did clean off my radar before I started driving. You'll actually get a separate warning if your radar is, is blocked with ice, and it'll say, uh, you know, radar visibility reduced, and you can't use anything either. So the car is definitely using a combination of radar and cameras to do all of this stuff, and it's not gonna work if it doesn't have all of it. So we got a lot of distance here. You can push it just a little bit more. Uh, these roads are doing pretty well. Uh, the other thing I look for is other people sliding, and as far as the cars in front of and behind me, I haven't really noticed them sliding too much. So conditions are probably pretty good. Uh, and you can always just do a little test, um, especially once you first start driving, to see how slippery it is. Uh, and I usually do that, uh, honestly, pretty often as I'm driving. Just a quick little slip test. So um, let's see, nobody's behind me. Well, they are, but they're way far back there, so if I as this car passes, if I let off the accelerator. Yeah, so I slowed down, I didn't slide at all. So I know the road, at least in this section, is doing pretty good. So you can see we have a few warnings here. Uh, blind spot detection limited and lane departure avoidance limited. Uh, there are other things, but these are the warnings you get. Uh, and these come and go, but uh, yeah, the cameras, I don't know, I assume they have some snow on them. They are heated, so normally they won't get too much snow on them, but on a day like today, it's just, there's too much going on. So if you want to talk about level five autonomy, you know, where you hop in the car and there's no steering wheel, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad it's not my job. That's all I'm going to say. Got a couple roundabouts here. Let's turn auto. Oh, I was gonna turn autopilot on, but I can't. Okay, so we're getting onto the highway here. And uh, yeah, this is <laughs> it's just gonna take forever. I mean, so far there's nothing too special. This car versus any other car I've driven. Um, it handles better in situations of trying to get going. Uh, because of the all-wheel drive and because of the instant instant traction control. I mean you can't even Blink before this thing is is fixing a wheel spin um, But in terms of stopping and steering and just kind of in general safe winter driving. There's nothing too special about it um, It's just like any other car So here's our energy graph. You can see in these conditions you use way, way, way more energy than you normally do. And it's expected, but it's still pretty extreme. So when we started the journey, um, the nav estimated we're getting home with 45%. And at this point, we're gonna get there with 39%. And I wouldn't be surprised if that goes even lower. So we've used six more percent uh, than the car thought. And every percent is about three miles. So that's, uh, we're getting close to 20 extra miles of range we've used. So even though this may look bad if you're not used to snow or anything, this actually really isn't all that bad. 
Um, it's a little dark, but if you look at the road, you can see that there's not even snow where my tires are right now. Um, so you still want to go slow because there can be spots of ice um, or pieces of snow, like little patches of snow that'll make you slip or whatever. Um, but even if you do, you usually don't slip for very long. You know, you'll kind of slip onto where there's no snow and then you're done slipping. And that's where really good traction control uh, comes into play because you will kind of fix that spin really quickly. I do really, really miss autopilot though. It's kind of a bummer that it's not working. I wonder if my windshield wipers were clean if it would work, but I don't, I mean, I can see up on the this part of the windshield kind of where the cameras are. I don't see any streaks or anything even, so I don't know. So I'm gonna get a little more distance uh, from this guy ahead of me and I imagine perhaps the guy behind me may not like it all that much. He is riding kind of close to me, but you know, if this guy, like right now, if he breaks, especially if he breaks hard, I'm just not gonna have the room to stop and you need to stay far away. Coming up to what looks like our first vehicles in the ditch. I'm really surprised this morning. Oh yeah, there's a guy over there. Man, that sucks. Um, this morning I didn't see anybody go off the road and this is the first person I've seen today that drove off the road. Um, normally you just see cars left and right all over the place, but uh, I don't know, people are slowing down. All right, let's see if he actually passes me here. Now it looks like he's slowed down or something. All right, so here he goes. He's gonna fly, fly by in his little Toyota. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, that guy, hopefully, hopefully he has snow tires. I bet he does because that's that's uh, how he can fly around like that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Uh, we're going on the dirt roads now. So let's see if they were plowed. They usually are actually. Um, so this parking lot got plowed and made a big mound for us to drive over. That's okay. Um, and yeah, it looks like, ooh, I can't even tell, turn the brakes on. Um, yeah, looks like they were plowed, so that's good. They usually actually do get plowed. Uh, the hard part's gonna be getting to my street because my street is private and uh, my neighbor will plow it usually, but he doesn't always because all my neighbors drive huge trucks and they don't really care. <laughs> um, so if it's not plowed, I think we'll be good. It just depends on how much snow there is really. Uh, I mean, I'm making it home. Come on, let's be real. I'm not gonna get stuck out here. Oh, there's some deer here. I'm sliding as I slow down. And they're just gonna chill there. <laughs> they do not care at all that I'm here. That warning is just because there's snow on the front of my car. It's not because of the deer. <laughs> I don't want to scare him, but I want him to get out of my way. Oh, don't come back. <laughs> Sometimes I've had a deer like run straight into the side of my car before. Um, Cause they'll cross one way and then they'll get scared of where they're going and want to go back to where they came from. And they'll just run right back into your car. I'm going downhill here, really no problems. I'm sure if I was to stop hard, we would be sliding like crazy, but just take it nice and slow. No, I'm not, I'm not, ner I'm not nervous at all. No, nope, nope, nope. Oh, okay. Oh, we're sliding. <laughs> okay. Under control. Okay, no, he plugged me a circle to drive through. That's good, that's good, that's perfect. Oh my gosh, but he left a huge mound in my driveway. That's all right, I can drive over that, no problem. Can I back over it? Because I'm backing in, that's the deal. So at least I made it home, so if I get stuck here, that's okay. Look at that, boom, nothing, like it's nothing. Okay, now it's something. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna use slip start. 
I never have slip start on. Here we go. Let's try it out. Bam. Yeah, okay, so it makes it a lot more aggressive. Uh, I may just have to go shovel some to get in here. Let's see, gain a little speed. Okay, if I can keep my speed up, I really shouldn't have a problem here. Except I have no idea where I'm going. Actually, this is pretty good. Yep, just keep the speed up, keep the speed up. Oh my gosh. Turning. All right, look at that. Home sweet home. We're gonna make it. We are gonna make it, everybody. Uh-oh, why am I slowing? Why am I slowing? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, slip, slip, it said slip start here, so that's pretty cool. Oh no, don't stop. Oh my gosh, it's actually stopping. Oh crap. No. Oh, so close. Okay, that'll be it. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> All right, now that the back tires are in the garage, we should be good. Oh man, look at that. My, <laughs> look at so much snow out there. Um, so that was insanity. Um, but you can see, Model 3, killing it in the snow. No snow tires. Would have been better with them, but you know what? Killing it. That's got to be... Oh, I'm not looking at where I'm going. Uh, that's got to be, you know, four or five inches out there. Uh, that I just drove straight through that clean, unpacked four or five inches of snow. Uh, and it took a little bit to get started, but then, then I was good. So overall, killed it in the snow. Took an hour and 46 minutes. Normally it takes 45 minutes, so more than an hour longer than normal. But we made it safe. Uh, no dangerous situations. I was a little nervous uh, on the back roads there, uh, but overall, killed it. All-wheel drive, uh, recommended. You don't need it. If you have rear-wheel drive, 100% get snow tires. If you have all-wheel drive, like 90% get snow tires. Um, but we made it here on the stock 18-inch tires. Uh, no big deal. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I will see you in the next video.